What is it guys, Numbers here, welcome back to another episode of the FIFA 19 Career Mode. Esos medios exageramos las previas de los partidos, pero créanme que el de hoy no es un duelo cualquiera. We all live in a yellow submarine. Yes, we are playing the yellow submarine today. Villarreal. I love that they're called the yellow submarine. I really do like Villarreal as well as a, as a team. Like, I don't know why. I just, I just, for some reason, like them. But anyway, um, just before this video starts, make sure you do leave a like and subscribe. Follow my Twitter and Emrod underscore Semple to hit that bell. You can't see never miss another video by me. Share the video with a family, a friend, and let's get into the video. So, a big game against Villarreal. I keep saying every game is a big game, but it is. I mean, we're focusing on the league. We need to win the league. Uh, I, I would love to win the league. And yeah, a, a big game against Villarreal. As um, they're a decent team. That um, as well. I'm saying every team is a decent team. Like, I need to stop. But anyway, um, we are playing with a, a very a different team. Uh, Maldonado, Stein, and Bailey playing up front because Bailey does make a lot of chances. I've got to say, he makes a lot of chances. Um, so yeah, and we've been struggling for goals recently. And well, the first half again, we can't seem to get even a chance. I mean, this is so poor from both teams. And well, both teams didn't really get a chance, but the second half delivered and well Maldonado crossed it in here it was a really good chance and Bailey had a shot but it was a great save from the keeper and well this um well Villarreal got a chance here and they had a shot and they did score but it did seem to go offside and well he was miles offside guys he was really far offside I don't know how he thought um he'd score um you get away with that but really good finish really nice header and yeah but we did have a, um, a few more chances Villarreal had a very good chance there but it was a great save from Chesney and it, as it was cleared off the line and well um, Villarreal's keeper well he made a brilliant save and then their defender in the last minute clears it off the line and it does finish nil nil so another nil nil draw and we need to start winning against these teams if we do want to become La Liga champions and well in the Premier League, if I kept drawing games like this, I'd probably be now in, <laughs> in, not on top. But we're still keeping up with the league. But um, we really need to keep on... Um we need to take these chances because we just aren't at the moment. And maybe that's because my fault in particular. We didn't bring in a, uh, a, a, a striker in the summer um, um, window. So yeah, maybe I should have done that. Maybe I should have got a really good striker. But um, yeah, I am sort of keeping our money safe until January so I can see what we need to improve because at, at that point in time in the summer I didn't know what to improve on because the team was so good but you know <laughs> who knows who knows but uh anyway uh also if if you didn't watch do check out my Red Dev Redemption uh series it's it's very fun it's different and if you don't if you like FIFA and you like gaming and you came here to watch games other games other than FIFA maybe Watch Red Dead Redemption. Very, very fun series to record. I just recorded the first episode. And very fun to record. But anyway, um, the next game of the episode is against Final. So, a big game against Final, uh, obviously, because I say every game is a big game. <laughs> I need to stop, seriously. But uh, a game against Final, not a big one. <laughs> um, uh, I don't know what I was talking about now. Um, playing our, a weaker team, a weakish team. Our last Europa League game, and we did draw it 2 2 with a thrilling first half. Not much happened in the second, nothing happened in the second half. So hopefully, hoping for the best. And well, what happens? Nothing. Nothing happens. EA, why can't we get a chance in the first half? Seriously, <laughs> two games, and we haven't had two, one. One chance in the first half. That's ridiculous. But anyway, Feyenoord had a good chance there. But Guerrero made a very good save. And well, it finished 0-0 again. So that is three 0-0 draws in a row. This is ridiculous. And we can't seem to score. Seriously, we need to start taking our chances and scoring these goals. I can defend. I can't score, which is quite weird. Because normally, it's the opposite. I can score... But I can't defend. And there was literally no chances in that game. 
None at all. Zilch. No chances. And there wasn't a moment of the match to talk about. But anyway, um, we're looking at like this scout feature star thing. A not scout feature star. Um, scouting. We scouted Turkey, New Zealand, and Mexico. Obviously, Mexico. We've got a few decent players. Uh, Turkey got a few quite good players. And where was it? Oh yeah, New Zealand. I chose New Zealand because FIFA 18 vibes. You know what it is. Anyway, um, we're playing against Real BT Betis, and well, this is quite a big game. And the reason why is because we've drawn three of our last games, uh, last games, and we draw them nil nil. So we haven't even scored, which is ridiculous. So we really need to get a goal in this game. And well, I'd been hoping, <laughs> I was um, sleeping on this, and I was just like, how have a nice score? Like before the game, I was like, guys. Just take your chances, shoot, and maybe we'll have a chance in the first half. Who knows? Maybe we'll push for it. But anyway, um, yeah, at home as well. So we do have the home advantage. Uh, so, yeah, we really need to start taking our chances. And it wasn't going to be easy as Real Batiste did play with five at the back. And, well, with five at the back, you normally have a very strong defense and a decent attack as well. So, yeah, very, very exciting stuff. And, well, as Guedes gets the ball, he looks across. It in. He does so and it falls to Leon Bailey and yes the curse is broken three games in we didn't score and then finally Leon Bailey gets a goal a player who has been very good this season not great at penalties missed two on the first game in the same game like this is ridiculous but Leon Bailey gets the goal and he heads it in is that his first goal it might be actually it might be his first goal but it doesn't matter we do score in the back post and um yeah his first goal in the La Liga season so yeah great to see him get off um with a great start and well Guedes and Leon Bailey seem to be sort of having a partnership on the training field they're quite good friends so makes sense and well yeah half time the score was 1-0 so at least we had a chance at least there was a chance and it did finish 1-0 at half time so half time we went into the dressing room and yeah it's it was nerve wracking because I really didn't want to lose and nothing really happened Real Batiste didn't do much to to really uh, scare us and well it finished 1-0 so, am I happy that, like, the games, I don't know why, but the games are just so, n there are no chances. And I know I've had a few stages like that in my career, moments, but, like, this is ridiculous. 3 nil nil game, um, 3 nil nil draws in a row, 1-1-0 one, one win, like, with one chance. Like, this is just stupid for me, eh, seriously, but, um... Anyway, um, the game did finish 1-0, and the only chance in my moment of the match was Leon Bailey's header, really good header from him, not going to lie, really nice header, and yeah, um, great goal from him, and uh, yeah, it did finish 1-0, so yeah, a very, very good uh, win, I think it was just important that we had the curse broken, and now we can finally score, hopefully, <laughs> but nothing really happened, and well, we've been through three <laughs> international friendlies, uh, like, sort of segments, in two episodes was the last episode we, yeah last episode there was international friendly so we've been flying through this corona so far so yeah um and i think that's what you wanted to see but um we do sim a game against our lavez viz because i just didn't want to play it because i just didn't see it as an important game but i did see this as an important game because every game is an important game yes we're playing against young boys and i'm quite annoyed that young boys is um stadium isn't on the FIFA because I just think it's really really distinct like it's quite distinctive that uh, they play in 3G instead of playing on instead of playing on grass so they're like very very well known for doing that <coughs> so yeah quite annoyed by that but anyway uh, young boys a team who are quite distinctive uh, in Europe you know quite well known i mean they're the only swedish team <laughs> was a swiss team oh no i don't know but anyway uh we are gonna try and score some goals in this game the curse is broken so hopefully we could at least get a few more chances so yeah i'm so sorry about how bad this episode is but we have gone through five games 
So, five game special? I mean, maybe. But as Calabria crosses it in, it falls to Wilfred Zaha. And in the nine, first nine minutes, he gets a goal. And well, I played with a decent team because I just really, we really needed a goal. We just needed some more goals. And well, Wilfred Zaha does get one there as he heads it in back post. Wilfred Zaha is like six foot one. It, it, I'm sort of happy with that, but I saw one a big, lanky, tall, um, a tall target man to to really head them in, like like a big physical presence up top and well a good chance came here as Maldonado went for the shot like him the last um um like his first goal for the club and well as Zaha got the ball here he played it to Bakayoko and that's a really tidy finish and Bakayoko gets his first goal of the season against Young Boys so we are 2-0 up inside 23 minutes and well Bakayoko gets a very very nice goal there Zaha Dribbling in and out, he gets the ball and then he just turns to Bakayoko and Bakayoko a little swivel of the hips and it go and he shoots goes in bottom corner. So yeah, quite a nice goal from Bakayoko. I actually really like the tidy finish from um Timur Timurwe Bakayoko. And um yeah, as a Chelsea fan <laughs> not the biggest fan of him, not gonna lie. Kind of kind of dog wank. He, dog wank but uh anyway um yeah two nil and um young boys seem to um be crumbling under this pressure and well <laughs> so did we at the back as we got the ball there tart looked to clear the ball away and well it just fell to young boys player and uh, <laughs> seriously they're, they're back in the game and it's so silly mistakes it's silly mistakes that we do like we <laughs> it's just poor defending from me personally it's it's mainly me but um yeah, annoying, very annoying. But young boys make it uh, two one, and well, they're back in the game. Uh, not much Guerrero, uh, our new goalkeeper, could do about that. Mar Aselli uh, gets his second goal of the Europa League. So yeah, young boys were back in the game, but that wouldn't phase me. I was quite happy with our attacking display, and I was think, and I was much, I was expecting there were going to be more goals. And while Timmy Abakayoko plays it to Kondopia, he just plays a really good ball to Martinez for the, uh, the first. Bit. It looked like he was offside, Martinez, but he actually wasn't, and I don't know how, but um, yeah, Condobia plays a really good ball. Like, look at this run from Martinez as well. That's just perfect. A perfect run from deep, gets the ball, and then he just bends his run in into the danger zone, and well, Condobia slots it into him, and he scores. So yeah, very, very good goal from him, and um, yeah, <laughs> happy. That's all I can say. We're scoring goals. Joseph Martinez gets the goal, and it does finish at half time 3 1. And well, this would be the last chance of the match as young boys get a good chance, but it was um, the end of the match. And well, yeah, 3 1, a good win to, to return to winning ways and to scoring ways as we finally do get more than one goal uh, past a team. So, yeah. Maybe we could improve defensively. We do push too many players up top sometimes. But uh, yeah, I'm happy with the result. And 3-1 uh, and Young Boys. And we get our first win of the Europa League. Which is good. Because we've had two nil nil draws. Which is... Um, no, two draws. One 2-2 two -two draw and one nil nil draw. So yeah, I'm very happy about that. And yeah, hopefully you guys are, are as well. As we did... Um, as we did have five games this episode so anyway thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy this video and please do leave a like and subscribe for the most put that at number done school 742 hit that bell icon so you never miss another video by me share the video with a family friend and i will see you later goodbye